All right, it is May 26, 2023. This is the morning meeting. Welcome. Let's take a look at the calendar for today. It's Friday, and the calendar is packed with data that's coming out today. You will see there will be core inflation data. There will be durable goods orders coming out. There will be um, personal income personal spending, so everything consumer-related, retail and wholesale stuff. You, you have everything on the board today. And here's the thing, as I said, it's a Friday, and we have a long weekend ahead of us because on Monday is Memorial Day. So the markets will be closed. Does it make sense to enter into positions today when the markets will be closed for three days that's that's the thinking of market participants right nobody might want to hold overnight positions positions over the weekend and particularly not over three full days something to consider so even though the market will price in all this macro data coming out <clears throat> there might not be a lot of um, a willingness to really position oneself ahead of this long weekend. The real true reaction to the data coming out today might only happen next week on Tuesday, right? So there might be sort of like a delay in what the data really means, like the real follow through in reaction to that data. So this is something to keep in mind. Now let's get started on the one hour chart and just go through our futures. And we're starting off with gold. Yesterday, we were observing triple bottom. We broke further down. We are trying to get back to that structural level here. And my expectation is, naturally, we will fail the level. We will try to retest it, and we will fail it. However, maybe we do not fail it, and we want to go a little bit higher. And then... You know, you might have a fairly typical move back to 618, which is here. But when I turn on a structural view here, just of this segment, so structural view means I'm only looking at the closes, not at the wicks, not at the high and the lows of the candles, just the closes. Where do you get more, um, where do you get more back and forth of the buyers and sellers? You get it at this level. And this also coincides with the FIB 486. So we might go up, we might test that level, maybe just with a wick, and then we might turn down again. So we might not even go to 618, because I don't see that much of structure here. The structure is more down here at 486. So that's just something to keep in mind. We might poke our head out, and then we might go down again, right? So I'm, I'm leaving this here as, as a reminder. Um, uh, what, what to look for, and then ideally also, of course, set an alert, maybe just before the structure. There we go. And that's all, uh, sorry, that's not oil, that's gold. So this is basically all I can see here. There's no harmonic pattern here. Uh, I think it's a little bit too early to draw, you know, like a trend line that gets broken. It, 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 I think it's too early to do that. Let's take a look at the S&P 500 ES. So we bounced off this structure on Wednesday. And then yesterday we ran up to here. We chopped around, horrible chop day. And now we are sitting here again. Um, and I don't have much of a conviction here what we're gonna do. Um, Maybe at this point, you can take a quick view here at the 10 minute and just try to make an educated guess, but there's no setup here. There's no increasing volume right now here with, with these candles. Um, this still has like four and a half minutes to go. Maybe there will be increased volume. Maybe this could be an entry already, but um, for now it doesn't look like it. All right. so. Maybe something here to the downside, but it looks very, very choppy. And it's kind of, 
yeah, tricky to draw a butterfly here. You have to pick a low. That should ideally be the low where the move really started, which would be here. But then there's an undercut here. And so I'm not a big fan of, of drawing anything here in terms of harmonics. The bias is to the downside. We are really, really came really high up here for a butterfly, the big butterfly. So I still have a bearish stance here. Um, and we'll see what happens. NQ. Basically at 14,000. Um, so I had to move uh, the cipher top up a little bit. That's not a big deal. So obviously this was not the top. Maybe the top was put in yesterday for that cipher. And this is cleaner, right? This is this looks much better. It's it's trending in between. This looks so much better than the ES right now. But again, the question is, what is it going to do here? This I I don't really have a, much of a structure right now. I mean, I can start maybe drawing a little bit here, but I would rather wait a little bit longer to see what it does here. Um, otherwise, I end up drawing a lot of structures. This this down here might be a little bit better. Um, but again, I don't want to overdo drawing structures. So see, for example, this one here, this finds itself some repetition here as well. So this is maybe something to look at, you know, for support or something. And then it looks like this. Always keep it as simple as possible. It's very important. Don't draw too much. I used to draw a lot. People couldn't even see the price anymore. That's how much I was drawing, not doing that anymore. Um, so, yeah, there, there's no real level here. I mean, if, if you are brave, you can try something. Um, see, this is actually here a signal, but there's no follow through. I wouldn't have taken that, even though it goes down now. Um, so, yeah, it is, it is what it is. So, we'll see what happens here. There's no rush. It's very early in the day. European session basically opened 40 minutes ago. Um, they're going to do a little bit here, but you know everybody's basically waiting for the data to come out. Um, so I, I don't really have anything here, right, to to look at. The um, DAO is still chopping around at these trigger levels. I don't like the way this looks. I don't like how long this takes. The indecisiveness, the retesting multiple times. Um, not a big fan of it. However, it could still go up today. I don't know. So if we get any bullishness in the market, then maybe we'll get something here. Although the strongest index on the board is the NQ, right? You can clearly see that. I mean, you can just compare them. This is the NQ. That's the S, just chops around sideways. The DAO is down. And then if you look at the Russell here, it's also in this chop range. So the NQ is the outperform of all of them by far. Right. So talking about the Russell, I do believe we will have further downside potential. But we are just sitting between levels here. So there's nothing to do here. There's no structure, no nothing. Um, yeah, maybe at some point you can draw a bit of a trend line in here. Maybe if that gets broken, things are a bit more interesting. But I would really like to incorporate the psi and then things get very steep and they don't really match up that much anymore. So, you know, if I do that, try a trend line, put it there. You know, this already, this already looks ugly, right? So I'm not doing that. Yeah, I don't, I don't see anything here. The ducks. It's also in this it's no man's land. It's just in this chop zone. Um, I don't know. I mean, you you can you can for sure you you can also draw another level here. Maybe I'll just do that right now. But then we get a lot of levels, right? So maybe maybe just here. But I don't like to have so many levels in such a short distance to each other. This is much better here, right? But it seems that, you know, it bounced off. Maybe it's going to bounce off again. But if it doesn't, I'll probably get rid of it right away. Yeah, so it's, you know, 
looking at it now, yeah, of course, it's it's sitting at, at this level. Um, doesn't look very strong. So, you know, we opened here 40 minutes ago. 10-minute chart. It gets, like, set up here. There was a tiny bit of follow-through. It's quite risky right now, I think. Right, you can say. So, I don't know. I wouldn't touch it right now. Um, one hour in oil. So, it's doing its thing. Oil came down nicely from the top of this butterfly textbook. A touch of 1272 all the way down. That's easily 618 already. Retracement, I would say. And now we're sitting at this level. Looks a bit choppy. Big wick here. Um, and yeah, let's just take a look at 10 minutes here. All right, this is a signal right here. Would be nice if this was below the structural level. No follow through yet, but we're only two minutes in. These long wicks are interesting. They tend to get filled quite a bit, up to 70, 80% price will most likely be down here. That's 70 cents from the current price. Um, something to keep in mind that it, you know, tends to fill those long wicks here, those long tests to, um, to whatever direction it would be. Okay. Um, one more thing. One hour chart is the VIX. I speculated yesterday we might get a butterfly and it's forming one. So it had this retracement of at least 3A2 that we need. Actually did a 4 to 8. And now if it turns around, um, it would suggest that equities will be under pressure. They might be going down. And if that is true, then actually gold, which is almost triggering the alert now, um, would actually break through and go up, right? It would just do an undercut of, of these levels and then it just go up. So this is where the big picture comes into play. But the problem is, again, it's way too early, right? Way too early. All right, so let me just summarize this. Um, this is an interesting level to watch. Again, in combination with the VIX, if you think this will continue through, but it might also break down. Nothing is set in stone in trading, as probabilities. Um, this might reverse here, so I'm, I'll be watching this. If it walks through here, it might go to the 486 and then reverse, I'll be watching that. So I'm bearish on it. And to really get a bullish case on, <clears throat> I don't know if I, if I will see, there it is. There's the alert. So I don't know if I, I will I would get into bullish case here on, on gold the way it looks right now. And as I said, <clears throat> just to summarize, ES yeah, very choppy. And Q up there, no no man's land. Not a structure. YM taking a lot of time at its trigger level. Doesn't look that great. Um this is still building to the downside. And DAX is just chopping around, but you can see there is weakness here, right? This is just been going straight down since the open. And then oil. We have to see if we can get some some cleaner signals here. I, I would also favor the downside, to be honest. But we already had had quite a move, so you know, we'll see. You have to be really careful with this one. All right. Uh, did I forget anything else? No, I think this is pretty much it. So um, we'll see how things turn out. Again, long weekend ahead. Unlikely to get a bit, lot of positioning in the market today. Um, the macro data needs to come out. I think, is it all pre-market? This is There's a lot pre-market here, an hour before the open. But then also, half an hour after the open, there's a lot of stuff coming out. So tricky. Might be a, a day to not do anything. Seriously. Might be just like yesterday. Might be a day to walk away and do something else. 
um, don't have a lot of conviction in this now. But sometimes you get surprises in the market, even on a day like today. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and um, tomorrow I will post a review video, and then we'll call it a long weekend. Bye-bye.